I'm sure you've heard this song before. Written by video game composer Kasumi Tobitaka and released along with the Wii, the song is getting so much notoriety on the internet that you didn't even need to own the console that this song is from to know it. The song in question is known as the Mii Channel theme, and this song is the perfect example of this video's topic, the Mii Aesthetic. Now what do I mean by me aesthetic? One quick Google search will tell us that aesthetic means a set of principles underlining and guiding the work of a particular artist or artistic movement, or to simplify, rules that art needs to follow to fit into a certain category. For example, we wouldn't find a Victorian mansion in a traditional Japanese painting, but it wouldn't make sense that a Greek or Roman statue would be in a piece of vaporwave art because it follows that aesthetic. So, just like those two art forms have rules, so does the Mii aesthetic. Out of everything a Mii game has to offer, I've found four different rules that can be applied to each. So, with that in mind, I'll be basing everything in this video off of that. The first one is the most obvious. The game has to have Mii's in some capacity, whether they be the main focus of the game or just a side character in it. For example, I would say that Nintendogs plus Cats is a great example of a game with the Mii aesthetic, but the main focus isn't on the Mii's. It's on the dogs and cats, but mainly just dogs. Nintendogs plus Cats also leads into the next rule. Games that have the Mii aesthetic tend to have very simplistic plots, plots that can be understood in just one or two words. As stated before, Nintendogs plus Cats has a very simplistic plot. Dogs and cats, but mainly just dogs. We sports, sports. We music, music. We play, playing. I think you get the idea. I would say the biggest importance of what makes a game have the me aesthetic is the music. Typically, the songs all sound the same. I'm not saying this as a negative though, because once you hear the music, you can automatically tell that this game has the me aesthetic. And plus, the music is just a delight to listen to. Take a listen. Each Mii game has a different environment, but at the same time they all contain things that bring them all together, like the late 2000s modernist designs, the use of white in a lot of the games, and beaches. For some reason a lot of these games have a lot of beaches.
The me aesthetic we once knew is now dead. I'm not saying me's are dead, they're more like on life support now. But after the Wii and the Wii U's death, the only console we had left was a 3DS. And with its shops being closed down and it no longer being supported, all we can do is look back and remember the days of this aesthetic. Or the better option, emulate it and preserve it for years to come.